on the slot. Looks big. Val score. On the top production line offensively for the Sharks, but a bad pass. And the fastest man on the ice, Andreas Athanasiu, is stopped by Cooley, his first NHL save. Kevin Korczynski, off the wall, Nick Foligno. Down low for Lucas Reichel in his return to the Blackhawks lineup. Feels like Reichel's been gone for a long time, but he's still played 51 games now for the Hawks this season. Basically gone a, a month, missed 14 games that the Blackhawks have played here, but uh, hopefully he comes back playing with a lot of confidence like he did at the tail end of last year. Kalen Addison with a shot on goal, but now it's Philip Zadina who threads one past Seth Jones. Kevin LeBanc couldn't pick it up until he was behind the net. Now Burroughs defensively on the dot fires and it's kicked high into the slot for Ryan Donato who fans on the pass to center. Sharks recollect. It's Burroughs not quite three minutes in to the second meeting of the season between the Sharks and the Blackhawks. Donato the exit stopped by Ferraro at center. Taylor Radish taken off the puck by Alexander Barabanov and the Sharks reset in their own zone. Center ice LeBanc. Over the Blackhawks line. Save Morazic on a shot by Mario Ferraro, the defenseman. At center ice, Mark Edward Vlasic occupied by Taylor Radish. Radish trying to work around the 18-year NHL defenseman. Donato knocks the puck down. Landon Slager, a save by Cooley. Slager in his last game, ten and a half minutes. Couple hits, no shots on goal, but this is a real good feed. Donato spins this around, and Slager is right there. A good little redirect. Cooley has to be sharp. Korczynski to Johnson. Pass block knocked down by Kurashev. Rolling back to Kurashev's blade. He drives down low with the puck. Shoulder check by Jacob McDonald. And Alexander Barabanov now. Gets the puck out to Ryan Carpenter. Carpenter, Barabanov stopped by Morazic. Rebound Carpenter. And the Sharks score. Morazic makes the initial save. Korczynski. Can't find this rebound, goes out the backside, and right there, an opportunity for Carpenter to bang those in into the wide open net. San Jose Sharks striking early here. Hawks got caught a little bit in their neutral zone structure. Just want to keep going at them, keep filtering pucks, make it hard on them, get traffic in front of the net, look for those second and third opportunities. He's looked cool so far. Face off to Peter Morazic's left, and Jason, uh, Philip Kurashev had his stick locked with Mikhail Granlund. Eventually, the Sharks have the puck. Granlund down low. Granlund for Costin, and Costin scores. It's 2-0 San Jose. This, in my opinion, is a real good pickup by the San Jose Sharks. With playing with the Edmonton Oilers, had a great season, finished the season strong with them, but priced himself out of the equation with the Edmonton Oilers, so he signed a nice two-year, $2 million per year deal in Detroit. Didn't quite work out for him there, but he has been a nice fit here early on, promoted to the top line. He is... A puck battle, and it comes to Connor Bedard into the glove of Philip Kurashev, and the Hawks force it out to center. Bedard on the wing. What a pass, Tyler Johnson for Kurashev! The Hawks score! That first line magic tic-tac-toe, and the Hawks are right back in this thing. This all starts in the Hawks' end of the ice. You look at the little play by Connor Bedard, and a nice job by Kurashev to battle this puck out over the blue line. Then you see Connor Bedard. He's got his head up all the way. Kurashev makes the little pass, and then he drives the middle lane. He goes to the net. Look at the determination there from Kurashev. A little chip over the shoulder of Cooley. Johnson, a veteran player, he knew exactly what he was going to do as soon as he got that puck. This is not a shot. He sees that Kurashev has got a step on the defender. In the trapezoid for Radish in front. A big save by Cooley. And he didn't control the puck. Reichel and Athens, Athens see a lot of speed on the ice right now for the Hawks. Here's Reichel. He makes his move and the shot covered up. Lucas Reichel picks up a little pass from Jeff Jones. Defends it well. McDonald. 
Landon Slager. Taylor Radish looking for a shooting lane. Plays it back up the opposite wall for Magna. Over to Tenori. That puck was on its edge. And it eats up Ryan Donato off a stick. He shoots and scores! That puck was wiggling all over the place, but Donato squared it up and ties the game. Megna to throw this over to Tenardi. And Tenardi fires this one in. And Burroughs actually does a nice job defending this. He deflects this over, but it goes right into the midsection of Donato. Falls down where he just wheels around and pummels it at the net. You can see the excitement. And a Hawks bid to take their first lead of the game. Polino, no one open in front to the line. Korczynski down the wall. Sturm breaks it up, but Reichel's on it. He tees up Korczynski. They score! The Hawks grab the lead in the third period. And this puck goes off one of the Sharks players in front of the net. Middle of the ice, no hesitation. Polino down low, Lucas Reichel. Little pass back to the point there, and you see McDonald. He's standing in front of the net. Korczynski, he's got his stick into a one-timer position. You feel bad for Cooley on this one. Good support by Lucas Reichel. Putting it into the wheelhouse of Korczynski, and he hammers this one towards the net. Now Alex Vlasic for Colin Blackwell. Anderson throws it through his legs. They score again! What a goal! United Center up for grabs here. Gets his third of the season. Face-off win by the San Jose Sharks, but the San Jose Sharks make a mistake in the neutral zone. Transition coming back. This place is rocking right now, Joey Anderson. He just throws a backhander that finds his way between the wickets. Of the goaltender, and again, this is a puck that's deflected by the San Jose Sharks. A defenseman, this time off, Palin Addison. Some excitement coming here from the Dickinson Blackwell Anderson line. Bortolo, who's great uncle, Donato open, save Cooley. Leave you hanging there, is JP Bortolo. You've done a much better job here. Creating traffic in front of the goaltender. A lot of the shots that Addison make that Bortolo on the half wall. Eklund in front. Zetterlin couldn't get a clean look. Morazic scrambling for the loose puck and he spots it. Flex off the other. And Peter Morazic in close again. Zetterlin a couple whacks at this loose puck before Morazic. Those two friends tango again. It's Eklund now spinning on Jared Tenorti. Eklund in front for Costin, and he missed point blank. Good save, Peter Morazic. Now it's Picard with the open net. The puck loose. Tyler Johnson into the corner. Kurashev, Picard, he scores! It's going to count! It's going to count! No time on the clock. They're going to take a look at this. The way we look at it, it's not the official time on the clock. Looks like this goes in with about .5 on the clock. Watching that Edmonton Oilers. That's Bedard's first empty net goal. Okay. <laughs> I like that. They didn't even drop the puck. They just put it on the ice, and that'll finish this one off.